Hello guys, and welcome to Apparently We're Recording, with me, Zakelia. Um, today is the start of a new series, and we are going to be playing Mass Effect. So... Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Why wouldn't you? The kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I'll not read that out because it'll take forever for us to do it and it'll probably disappear before I finish it. So if you want to read that, just pause it and then you can get the whole gist of it. But basically, we're not alone. I'll be quiet for a little bit in the beginning of this so that we can get the, the full the full feeling of the beginning of this game. See what I look like. Eh, not too bad. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I must admit, I agree with Joker. Whenever there is actually, you know, an official story, it's always a bunch of bull, so... They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Hmm. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yes, that would be me. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Right, so... Welcome to Mass Effect, everyone. Now, I will tell you that I have played this game before. Um, this will be probably my, my third playthrough on Mass Effect 1. Um, I'm playing as a adept today, so I'm gonna go through it as if, uh, well, I'll be going through it as if I haven't played it before. But I might uh, take a few different uh, options to what I normally would have. 
um, and try and sort of embody the role of this commander shepherd. Uh, so we'll we'll see how things go. So I'm just going to go straight in on with the the story. So let's get on. And yes, Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Now, I guess it would be, because it's, it's paradise. called Eden. Yes, it's a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Hmm. If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I kind of knew that. Because, well, I kind of knew that because I played the game before, but I also kind of knew it because it sort of wouldn't be normal for a game to just have, you know, a routine mission. mission. Sorry, I can't speak today, so... I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Hmm. Why all the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Hmm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, to be honest, if you watch any other uh, space opera series, whether it's film or TV, um, especially Stargate, um, you'll see that the, all the ship drives are based on what's called ancient technology or Asgard technology so uh, it is pretty plausible that we do find something uh, and then convert it to our own so what are we going to go with here uh, to be honest they sound as if they are a little are bit worried expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble there's more Shepard Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon he's also here to evaluate What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Ah, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! It's never simple, is it? Stories, games. Heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. There's always something that complicates it. Yeah, and in this case, it looks as if it's going to be. Everything cut 
cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Oh well, I guess that's us going in. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more company. No shit. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Dramatic Grab stare. And meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hmm. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Three people. Go in heavy and head straight for the Dixon. Mm -hmm. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Ah, well. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. No problem. Let's get going, shall we? Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you very much. We are approaching drop point two. And this is where the gameplay actually starts. Oh, auto save. Got perimeter secure, Commander. Thank you very much, Caden. Okay, so um see if I can actually remember the buttons. This place got hit hard, Commander. Um, yeah. Right, so I'm just doing a bit of a check, see if I can re actually remember the buttons. Hmm, they do look rather strange. I'm trying to think what they actually look like. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, they look a little bit like the flood of Halo. I wonder what. I, I know what happens when they shoot them, but uh, Damn. bang. Yeah. Right now, uh, I'm going to have a bit of a look around because I don't usually look around. I usually just get on with the actual story. But uh, let's have a look around. See if there's anything that I actually do miss, you know, on my actual playthrough. Ooh, there is something there. Shield regenerator and toxic seals. They'll do nicely. Also got some metagel. Ah. Yep. Okay, so. Hmm. Right. A bit of charcoal. Lovely. Just what you want. So let's carry on. Quiet and slowly. Okay, so uh, not that one. We want that one. What we got? We got warp and we've got throw. Let's use throw. <laughs> oh my god! This is very inaccurate. That'll do. Oh no. Negative contacts, Commander. Yeah, but Jenkins is dead. That's a bit crap. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. Well, we can't do anything for him now. We don't want to forget about him. But he does you know, we haven't really got enough time to to bury him. But oh go on. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. Oh, that's alright. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, that, that that's that seemed all right. Yeah. Okay. Now where are we go? We're going this way. Let's just get the 
the pistol out. Oh. Keep on pressing the wrong button. I want to map that. Level up. Level up. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Hmm. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, no problem. So, let's level up. Now, I'm going to level charm up because I do know that that actually comes in handy. Let's also level that up. Should be fine. Now I've got auto level on um, companions. Um, it's just the way that I actually play the game. Um, I don't want to particularly be too bothered about them um, leveling them up and everything, so I let the, the actual game do that for me. Now, the only time that I would actually do that properly is in Dragon Age 2 because in order to open up the chests and everything that you get, you've got to have people at certain levels. Oh my god. Recharge time on th on throw is crap. Okay, so 